Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So, we all love free 3D content and today is no exception of the things that we can get from Sketchfab. We all know how interesting it is for anyone who would like to download free and wonderful content and you know, animatable content, how wonderful it is for you guys to go over to Sketchfab and grab this. But today we have something that looks very interesting. Now, contrary to going over to Sketchfab, trying to search for these things here, downloading them and you know, going all through the stress of trying to load these things into your DCC app, Right now, there is actually something even way better that you can use. The folks at Sketchfab have actually gone ahead to update their add-on. If you go over to the GitHub, which I'm going to put link in the description, you would notice that there is an updated version of all the Sketchfab plugin. Now, if you're working with Godot, you're working with Cinema 4D, Unity, or maybe you're working with Blender or Unreal Engine, right now you can take advantage of all the things. Now, the codes themselves have been updated, so just in case you want to grab this, link is going to be in the description where you can check this out. Now, getting started, the first one which we're going to take a look at is how you can get started with installing these add-ons for both Unreal Engine, Unity, and also Blender, and again, what and what you need to keep in mind while trying to get these things to work. The Unreal version is supported for Unreal 4.19 all the way to 4.26. The Unity version itself is also available for those who like to work with Unity and as well there is a version for those who would like to work with Blender. Now grabbing this for Unreal Engine is as simple as going over to any of the release versions that you have, click on them and this would load up the page and then you can simply click on the Sketchfab zip. If you want to get the source code, the source code for all of these other ones are also available. So. Once you download this, all you need to do is you need to make sure that you open the section where you get your Unreal Engine save, go over to the plugin, extract the file. In our case, we're making use of Banzip, so it's very, very easy for you to just simply click, drag directly into the plugin folder where your Unreal Engine is. Now, once you have that going, the next thing which you need to do is to simply fire up Unreal Engine. If you already have a project set up, that is fine. And if you don't, you can simply go through, set up a brand new project file. And from there, you can get started with whatever you want. Now, once you have this one going, the next thing which you need to do is to make sure that you go over to the plugin section. Now, the reason why we're going over to plugin is to make sure that we have the SketchUp add-on active. So, how do you search for this? If you go over to your installation section and scroll all through, you would not be able to see this. You can only see this once you go over to the all section and simply type the word Sketchfab. And by default, this is automatically active and you are ready to go. Now accessing this is as simple as going over to Windows, go all the way down to where you have Sketchfab and right there you'll notice that I have a brand new window pane which you can now use to access a lot of things. If you want to see animated content, you can check that out. If you would like to sort these things by different categories, you can also choose to do this. Now to take advantage of Sketchfab, you need to log in and logging in is very simple as you can either log in with Facebook, your Apple ID or you can use Google. If you already have an account, you can simply log in that account, authorize this and that way you can get started with this. Now using this for Unity is also very, very simple. Now for Unity, all you need to do as well is to actually go over to the GitHub. Right here, you can go over to the download section and click on the latest release and this will bring you over to a page where you can download the package file. Now once you download the package file, simply fire up your Unity and in our case, we're making use of Unity 2020.2. Simply go over to the asset section, go all the way down and install the package as a custom package. Now once you do that, go over to the directory where you have the save, click on the Unity package file and then this is going to load. Click on all to make sure that you have everything selected and finally click on import. And once you do that, everything gets loaded in and the best part is there is a brand new menu that appears directly within your menu bar and from there you can simply import, search and also publish stuff directly to Sketchfab. So by simply clicking on the browse Sketchfab, you also have a very cool window which you can stretch out and of course you can search for stuff and search for these things based off categories and so on and so forth. Working with Blender is also super easy. Actually to do this is super easy. All you need to do is go over to edit, go over to preference and do your installation. And once you do that, the next thing which you need to do is log in and you are ready to go. So let's get started with talking about how you can work with Unreal Engine. So for Unreal Engine, it is super simple. You can search like right here, you can click and search for everything that you want. So I really like this one. I'm just going to double click. It pops up a brand new window. I can preview this on Sketchfab if I want. If I would like to download this, I can simply click on the download model and this would automatically start downloading. Now you might also notice that there's a couple of, you know, shaky stuff going on there. I actually have no idea why that's happening. It just happens for a while and stops. And after that, 
we would be able to grab our model. If you want to bring in a model by simply using Unity, you can also do the same thing. So let's say we've logged in right now and we would like to get in a Game Boy or maybe we want to get in character or something like that. We can actually drag these things or simply import these things right here. So for example, I could click on this and we can see the details that these also have and click on download model and in this way we can start having this file loaded in directly here so for blender all you need to do since you've already had this installed if you want to search you can literally search for anything so let's say we want to get a car as well and just simply type the word car click on the search button and this is going to search and if we click right here you would notice that we have a huge variation of cars all right so there's a lot so right now we are loading these ones and this doesn't look bad you can import model and while the blender model is actually loading let's jump back over to unreal engine and take a look at what is going on so right now we have this model downloaded we can simply click drag and drop this right here it's going to ask you a couple of questions all you need to do is say accept because you need this model right here and it's going to import that model and throw it right over here so you're actually browsing the entire sketchfab website so you would also notice that anything that you've had downloaded actually has this very blue underlining thing and whatever that you don't have downloaded you would notice that they all sets to white so we can now easily click and drag this and drop it directly within our viewport and once we have that there we can press f on the keyboard and zoom right wherever it is now you'd also notice something that we have this model actually being all the way down so we can move this so depending on where the creation was done and you know where or the positioning of the creation that is basically how you know this would position itself when it's loaded right here in your dcc app so this is how you can get your models from sketchfab by simply using the sketchfab add-on and getting these things directly in the app of choice now let's jump back over to blender and take a look at what we have so our model is ready to rumble and you can see this beauty right here so one thing to keep in mind is if you switch over to eevee you get to see the material looking nice of course there are certain artifacts that you get to see but for the most part if you switch over to cycle you would notice that it has some sort of transparency so if we go over to the materials and go all the way right here where you get to notice that we have an alpha you would notice that this alpha is being driven by a normal map so just in case you're having in this issue this is how you get to solve this click down here instead of closing this because even if you close this it doesn't solve the problem click over here within the alpha and you notice where it says it's been driven by the normal map go all the way up and simply remove that all right so once you click on the remove button you notice that we have this one going there and you can do the same thing for every other part of the model so let's say we want to do that on this part as well we can also do that so if we scroll all the way down click on this button scroll all the way to the top and then make sure that you have the remove selected so this way you have a wonderful model that you can actually work with and this is for those working with blender just in case you're having issues like this this is basically how you can solve it and for those working with unity on real engine you can literally bring in any model at all and it just makes sense to see that you have all of these things within your grab so this is more like it for those who like to get this i'm going to put a link in the description where you can access this and also follow the instructions on how you can do the installation and also start working with this and for sure if you like to download models directly from sketchfab website there is a ton of free models that you can get all you need to do is go over to explore go to downloadables and you will be able to download these things for free so you can also notice that the folks at sketchfab always always produces challenges just to enable and also equip the artists and get them something to do and right now there is the 3d robot modeling challenge this challenge is going on and it will be lasting for the next three days there's going to be a link in the description that'll take you over to the page where you can see the criteria and that's about it tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace